Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally back with another Pulip review and this time I am going to be reviewing the amazing, the unique, the most beautiful thing in the universe, Pulip Queen Serenity. This is the general release or normal edition for this doll because I did not want to pay $50 for a moon stick that was going to be this big and she can't even hold because she does not have a grabbing hand. So I decided to go for the normal release instead of the limited edition or premium band exclusive. So now let's unbox this beautiful doll. Here is the box. It looks very similar to Human Luna's box because of the colors. And the design of it, it is especially made for the special characters Bandai releases, for example Princess Serenity and Sailor V. Here is one of the sides. We have Luna and Artemis right there. They look adorable. And down there we have the Moonstick. Here is the back. We have the warnings and precautions. And right here we have the official Pulip sticker and the official toy sticker. Here is the top and here is the bottom. One of the goodies that come inside of the box is her collector card. She looks beautiful. And she also comes with her wings. They are very delicate so be very careful when you're taking them out of the box. Here is the doll outside of the box and I can't even express how happy I am that she was released. She is truly a beautiful girl. I already found a couple of issues with this doll. She has a lot of noticeable netting under her hair. I tried to fix it, but it is still noticeable. She also has an underskirt right there, you see? It is very soft and it seems very durable. And her shoes. The bow is kind of delicate, so be very careful when playing with it. This is the back of her wings. You are supposed to put this 
two metal pieces under her dress not under her dress you just place them there and they should fit properly they should look like this I'm gonna show you you should put the two metal pieces right there under her dress and they say pretty well Now let's talk about her face up. She got black eyeliner and in the, her crease is a little bit brown. She doesn't have too much makeup on, which is great because it makes her look very mature. She has a little bit of blue blush in those three small eyelashes. And her eyes are this beautiful grayish blue. And as you can see, they have glitter inside. She has her beautiful crescent moon with her special details. Her eyebrows are this beautiful gray. And for her blush, she got this very, very soft pink. Her lips are also very soft pink and she has this darker pink line in the middle as always she can blink and she got this kind of like gray eyeshadow and she can also move her eyes side to side I kind of expected some people would ask about what are the similarities between these two dolls and I have to say that there are no similarities other than the sculpting of the face being the same like those two don't look alike at all as you can see Queen Serenity looks very mature Princess Serenity looks very young Princess Serenity has a lot more makeup on than Queen Serenity However, it's not that much either. Her eyeliner is different. Her eyes are different Her hair color is obviously different and even the crescent moon is different. I am back with my thoughts in this beautiful super gorgeous pulip doll You guys have no idea how happy I am that I was finally able to get this doll. I actually was taking a break from buying Sailor Moon bullet dolls because they were getting too expensive and I really can't spend a lot of money anymore because I have a budget. But I am happy I was able to get her, at least her. She is my mother. She is one of my favorite characters from the anime, the manga, and she is just such a beautiful, beautiful doll, you guys. I think, in my opinion, this is so far the most beautiful doll from the line. Then we have Princess Serenity and then we have Human Luna. That's my top three. There were a couple of issues that I am going to state from this doll. But first of all, I would like to let you know that just because my doll came with these problems does not mean that yours is gonna be the same. Her clothes, her wig are basically handmade. So, you are not always sure that you are going to get a perfect doll. Let's talk about her wig. I love this wig. I truly, truly love this wig. It has these white and also silver highlights. So, she looks really accurate. And that's something that I really like. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Look, right there. You see this weird stuff right here? That's the netting. This shouldn't be happening. You shouldn't be able to look at the netting. But I think this wig was not properly made. So that's my biggest complaint from this doll. I am super happy with this face up. She looks so mature, so beautiful. Look at that. She looks so beautiful. I am super happy with this face up. I think you can tell it because I am so, so excited. Her eye color is my favorite part. I think they are so unique. 
yet so beautiful that I can't stop looking at them and that's perfect. When I first saw this dress on pictures, I was not very happy about it because it looked kind of cheaply made. But now that I have the dress in front of me, I can touch it and I can feel the material. It looks really, really pretty. I wish it had a better material, but this material is good enough. We also have the underskirt. It is also a very good material as well. And it is going to last, which is great. She has this pretty bow at the back. It is nicely done. I feel like it's a little bit better looking than the Princess Serenity bow because the fabric that they used for the Princess Serenity was a little bit too flimsy and you couldn't see the bow really well. It was like kind of like off shape. But this one looks really, really good and I really like it. Her shoes are really good as well. They stay on very easy. They haven't fall off and that's something that I am very happy about. They are really, really pretty. These are very cute wings, but very flimsy. So you need to be very careful when you play with them because they can break and you don't want that to happen to your doll. Overall, this is a very beautiful doll to have. I totally recommend her. I think this is the very first doll from Queen Serenity. I don't remember if I have seen a Queen Serenity doll from the 90s. And if, you, if there is one, please let me know in the comments because I really want to know. And I do think she's very beautiful. She is super worth it. I paid almost $200, maybe a little bit over $200 for her. She is worth it. She was worth every single penny I paid for it. Super happy. And I hope you can add her to your collection because she is truly a masterpiece. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's always really nice. If you have any kind of question, opinion, or concern about this beautiful doll, please leave them all in the comments below. I will answer you as soon as possible. Don't forget to look at more videos that I have done in the past for other Pulip dolls and other Sailor Moon merchandise. And please, subscribe for more reviews in the future. See you in my next review. Bye!